Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today, we're taking a look at Twitter. That's right. <laughs> you guys, this picture in the background, it's really cracking me up. This was actually posted by Page Six. And I mean, it perfectly sums them up, right? It came out about the time, <laughs> sorry, I had to flash it like that. It came out about the time when these two said, uh, they're done uh, blabbing about the royal family. Yeah, right. None of us bought that. But let's take a look at some funny memes and some stories going on around Twitter and, and what's happening and, you know, just talk about it all as per usual, right? Let's get into this. Thanks for being here. Okay, so I have talked about Lean Meme Machine a lot lately because I'm a big fan. I just found them because they have the funniest memes. They make them about Harold and Fraud and they really... They just put me in a good mood, so I try to check them in the mornings before I start recording because it's just, it's funny to see. So they have some extra funny ones that I wanted to share with you, and if you're here in the comments, thanks for being here, Lean Meme Machine. Everybody check them out if you're on Twitter. You guys, I could spend about 14 hours talking about this. Look at this. I am dying. The checkbook behind every great con is a toxic story. <laughs> Netflix presents... Look at the faces. I was so focused on her face, which is so funny, that I didn't even fully take in his face. You guys, uh, Lean Me Machine is so funny and so talented, and I could never, I could never, I could never make this. This is so funny. So well thought out, so well done. And you know what's funny is, to me, Harry looks like, um, oh, what's that guy's name? Jeff Daniels from Dumb and Dumber in this picture. But, oh, so good. Look at the crazed look on Megan's face. Perfect. So well done. Okay, once again, Lean Meme Machine posted this one. <laughs> Todger in the Rain, based on the victimhood novel Wah by Todger himself, written and directed by Todger's wife. You guys, look at the lamp post. Look at all of it. Oh my God, it's so good, so clever. I love it. Todger in the Rain. And finally, from Lean Meme Machine, we have this one. Hmm. What should I do next? Plant some fake stories in the news? Uh, Badmouth Gingy's family? Buy an award? Call the paps? Look at that face. You guys, I cannot even. I'm dying. It's so good. So perfect. I'm very curious to see what's going to happen next as well. Um, yeah, I'm sure they're working on some. They're plotting something. It's just a matter of time. Something to keep themselves in the news. And I'm here for it and here to talk about it. Okay, changing gears. This is from Aussie Chick, who is maybe here in the comments as well. Hi, thanks for being here if you're here. She writes, um, and this is a response to somebody, but I just thought she made such a good point, that we're jealous of Harry and jealous that he didn't pick us. We're racist. And, oh, we wish we were as beautiful as Megan. <laughs> and then she goes on to say, shaped like a fridge. Uh, so we too can upset designers by wearing their beautiful clothes and making them look like shite. I love it. Okay, the reason I bring this up is because they make such a good point. <laughs> um, she makes such a good point because this is something that I don't read the negative comments here. I actually do on Patreon sometimes, but I still, I don't want to get in a negative headspace. So I just block and move on and don't think about it. But she brings up such a good point. I You don't see it. But I can tell you from experience, these are their go-to things. Most often I get that I want Harry bleh, and that uh, the racist thing and uh, that I wish I looked half as good as Megan. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is just the funniest, most juvenile responses I've ever heard. But that's all they got to throw at people. And so they do. And the reason I post this here is to tell you this is real. This is exactly what I'm most likely to get when I get somebody, you know, talking crap. But I wanted to show you that it's actually happening to according to Taz right now. I love according to Taz. I'm a big fan. I want to have tea with her sometime. Um, but I know a lot of you guys like her too. And I didn't know if you knew over on Twitter, she's dealing with the same thing right now. Let me show you. So she posted this. Nothing triggers me after the fake therapist. I don't know what the fake therapist is. But come for my beautiful husband. It almost enrages me. But then I remember we're so in love, so happy successful and thriving at life. I feel embarrassed for the trolls. You keep on typing. So I show you this because she had posted this, but then other people were like, I don't know, retweeting this person. I'm not encouraging you to go after anybody. I'm just showing you what they're up to because you'll, you'll see. I'll show you exactly what she's talking about, what they did. 
so this troll, this sugar, posted, this is according to Taz. Um, as she, they're actually saying this is her husband. You can tell that she's obsessed with Prince Harry, and she went and found the Dollar Tree version of him. Isn't that just disgusting? I, Her husband is so much cuter, first of all, but... <laughs> Regardless, that is just their go-to. They have nothing else to say. I, I promise you, if I, I wish I had saved them. I didn't. I deleted them after I posted them on uh, Patreon. But I have had a hundred comments saying the same thing that I'm clearly into Harry and I'm upset that he chose Megan. I can't even get through that without laughing, you guys. I cannot. But this is the response that I wrote on Taz's page when I saw this. This is the most juvenile thing I have heard. Your husband is so much cuter, plus he actually looks happy and wants to be in the pictures with you, unlike some idiot ginger who's led around by the arm. I'm not even surprised at this point, though. Look who they blindly follow. So that's my response. That's, you know, I just wanted to publicly support Taz because I love her. But also, I know a lot of you guys love her, too. Um, she's so, she, I just really like her sense of humor. She's really cute. But Anyway, I, that's just what we're dealing with with the sugars. That says everything you need to know right there. Seriously. P.S. I've told Jay the theory <laughs> when I've gotten sent it that I have a thing for Harry. And his response is always, oh, no. For some reason, I don't think he feels threatened at all. Okay, moving on. So Radar Online had tweeted out this story about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle struggling with extreme turmoil. I'm sure they are. Um, they've been going through the ringer after breaking away from royal life. Okay, but then this person had a really funny response. Okay, so this person's reply is Sussex is struggling with extreme turmoil and criticism. Sex, su I can't even say it without saying sucks. Sucks going <laughs> through the ringer after breaking away from royal life. And then they point out it didn't follow them, the turmoil, turmoil and backlash. They created it. Exactly. If they had actually done what they said they were going to do, go have privacy or whatever the fuck, then we wouldn't even be talking about this. But they just can't stop. So here we are. Okay. And then also in response to that article, Cancel Citadel posts, Harry and Meghan to stop making royal bashing Netflix show and tell all books um, after a huge backlash. Well, that's odd. How else will these two talentless whiners go on to make money? Translation, all deals have dried out. And then says some French words that I can't say. But yes, yeah, so well, yeah, exactly. It's that their deals have dried out. So this is their way of keeping themselves in the headlines while they look for more headlines, more ways to make money. Okay, so Prince and Princess of Wales tweets this. Just a reminder that Prince William is working with YouTube to further exposure on environmental causes, while Harry and Meghan joined with Netflix just to cash in on royal titles. But while Prince William continues to rise, Harry and Meghan have been dropped as toxic. Oh, excellent tweet. Well said. Love it so much. I just heard the same thing that William will be working alongside YouTube. Oh, I dream of being able to go to some sort of YouTube event and meet William. And Catherine. Unlikely bot tweeted, Harry filmed everything he could on his iPhone, the near catastrophic traffic jam. <laughs> and it's almost certain he will pursue legal action. Legal action? Against who? What for? Has he forgotten that the police were in attendance? But please do carry on. I've heard the same thing. I've heard the same rumblings. I mean, what, based on what grounds? Traffic? <laughs> It's New York. There's traffic. Hello. Oh my God. It's just, it just never ends. And, it, and it's really cracking me up at this point. Okay. This is another thing going around Twitter. There are these articles saying, without Megan, Harry would be welcome back in the UK. Well, Baroness Brooke points out, mm, not so much. Um, so she gives it a thumbs down and a thoughtful look. But yeah, this is just something I wanted to address. That's something I keep seeing too, is, is these story saying, oh, Harry'd be welcome back. And I'm thinking, I don't think so. He called all, all the people of UK racist and was terrible. And I think even people who aren't royalist per se could see how he treated the queen at the end um, and his grandfather. So no, I would think not so much welcomed. He's been nothing but a little shit. So no. All right. Royal News Network posts, from royalty to an influencer again. Wow. 
I can't imagine anything more pathetic. And the rest of the world sees that too. Yes, exactly. I love that the her people are making it seem like, oh, she might start up the TIG again. It's going to be a big deal. And it's like, no, no, look how far you've fallen. No. Um, but even GB News is reporting that, uh, again, that they're poised to make a whole lot of money from these posts that she's going to do. And I'm thinking, who's buying her crap? Just the sugars? But aren't there like 15 of them that just are teenagers? So what? <laughs> who's buying her crap? Who's, who's, yeah, who's clicking on that stuff? At Jen Carson Taylor posts, former Vanity Fair editor and legendary party host Graydon Carter interviewed for Telegraph. Here's the bit on Harry and his wife. Harry and Meghan are just fascinating concepts, he says. They've done something they'll live to regret, which is their children have no relatives. They have no cousins that they see, or aunts and uncles, and they don't see grandparents except for one. That will come back to haunt them at a certain point. Montecito is gorgeous, but it's God's waiting room. There is nothing, nothing, nothing to do. It's a 40-minute drive from L.A. There can't be many kids there because young families can't afford it. It's a lonely, beautiful place. I've lived in New York for 50 years, and you can't go faster than uh, three miles an hour, he adds. When I first read about it, I thought, well, that doesn't look right. They have too much attention. For people like that, unavailability is your greatest asset. If you're out there too much, the public has a chance to get sick of you. I think they've made every wrong move you can make. Well said. I think that is so funny, especially coming from somebody who used to be with Vanity Fair, because as we know, they've done a lot of exclusives with uh, old Maggie Poo and Harry, like, uh, you know, when they were engaged and along the way, they've done some, some stuff with her. So I find it funny that this guy's on the record saying they've made every wrong move that you can make. Yep, we've been saying the same thing. And finally, we have Princess Megzi. This is your fault with this picture right here. You guys, that look he's giving her is so good and so priceless. I love it so much. I actually use it in quite a bit of my videos because I love that he get, he's so stupid. He gets caught off guard looking at her like this and it makes me laugh. And I'd love to know what's going on in his feeble brain right there. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Lots more videos to come. So check back lots. Uh, I appreciate every single one of you. I truly do. I hope you have the best day. If you want to further support the show, check out the merch. We got Make It Make Sense, Recollections May Vary, and check out Patreon, patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recaps. I actually read out and show some of the uh, things that the sugar send me, including my apparent wanting of Harry and my wanting to be Megan. <laughs> it's as delusional as you think. Anyway, so check that out. Thank you for being here. Have the best day. Bye-bye.